life was uh, given to you to live. So just mm. live it. And to wander. Mm -hmm. Yes, because um, all these excuses, you know, I cannot do this and that because the society is so bad and the, uh, we are ruled by the tyrant. But when, when, tell me, I know world history more or less, uh, when uh, the time was wonderful, so the right time to live. When was it? What was the period? I don't know any period uh, of that time. So it's all the excuses. It's all the excuses. But many people concentrate on these excuses and are very, very unhappy. And um, mm, my parents, I think, were very happy, though uh, the life was not easy. You know, they, they got everything from life and sorrow and grief and joy and whatever. They, they had a very full life. And they were surrounded by people and they were fathered by people uh, who um, appreciated life just as we know it. They didn't wait for someone to come and to give you a They had a Messiah coming, showing up one day, and he will help you finally. <laughs> You'd better do it yourself. <laughs> Yeah, because the, you know, you are given just this very moment. It's just one moment that lasts, goes over you know, the boat that floats over the river. That is nothing else here in this life, in, in, on this side of the world. So he kind of felt it. No self pity. Maybe he did have self pity, but not in the this regular form. Oh my! Lord. No. So he kind of, he ventilated, if he had any self-pity, he ventilated it through some irritation or depression, but didn't show much of it. And did he teach you to take responsibility for your own life? Mm. And not say that the others are responsible for your fate? No, 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 no. I, I, I somehow started feeling very early that no one is responsible for me. And I have a good rule, if you feel bad, about life treating you badly, go and help someone else. Or don't complain, shut your mouth, that's it. Because no one is obliged to come and help you. You do it yourself, it's the only self-help that exists. Because let's imagine that you are staying at home and feel very, very, very unhappy and want some beautiful prince to come and give you a present. Imagine the prince rings the bell, you open the door, he comes and brings something that you don't consider a present. So, and you are in even worse mood, and the prince is dis disappointed, <laughs> runs away, oh my God, no. So what do you do when your life is in jeopardy? I what, what, do you do, what do you seek for, for consolation? Work. Like your father? Work, help. Taking the blanket over your head, looking at the wall no. for about several mm -mm. hours? Mm -mm. So, some uh, members of our extended family, they have this kind of mood, but I just, <coughs> I didn't get it in my character. No. So what do you do? Uh, when uh, life is really tough. Take a book and read a book. I just let myself read a book because... Um, One of your own? No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. just, just some book that I delay reading all the time. You know, we promise ourselves that we'll read all... Uh, good or important books and we never do because there are lots of them but uh, one day when you feel that uh, life is very low and um, time somehow disappears at that moment so take this book it's a piece of eternity and it's it's amazing how it helps as a piece of eternity mm -hmm. concentrated in a book and then, well, if it happens to be, let's say, very good Russian writer, um, then it soothes your soul in a way. Uh, because, uh, well, because of many reasons. Uh, it's wonderfully written, it, you know, uh, your heart is beating, it takes you, carries you away, and uh, all people have the same problems, you do think, or whatever. So it's fine. But when you happen to take a book that is poorly translated into Russian, uh, first you are carried away and then you <laughs> become so mad about that that you I'm really all your energy comes your back. Heart. Yeah, yeah. How can you do that? <laughs> and life comes back. Yeah, but it's recognizing that faith, uh, our destiny, our deeds, our thoughts are universal. 
Mm -hmm. You can recognize them on the pages of somebody else's book. Yes. That's consoling? Uh, yes, I think so, because, uh, um, well, especially uh, at the young age, you may think that uh, your situation is unique. Yeah. No, no one understands me. I'm unique. Uh, very, very common mm, uh, way of thinking. But um, you need a cold shower. Just read a book and you'll see that <laughs> everything is known, everything is written down. Even the details of your um, um, relationship with the universe, they are recorded there. It's also a well-known effect. It, it um, calms you down unbelievably. Yeah? Mm-hmm. You, you start last, laughing. Uh, yeah, start laughing. Uh-huh. You start laughing. If you have some... Kind of hilarity. <laughs> yes, exactly, exactly. I am not that important. That feeling also? Um, no, I, I am as important as anyone else, I yeah, would say. But no. it's not it doesn't diminish you, but... Yeah. Okay. So I'm not um, pathologically important, I would say.